Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn about how to extract the link in mail, body of the mail. There are two types we can extract the mail, one is through HTML, one is through plain text. Both we can see today. And these are the dictionary keys available. One, how if you want to extract the email subject, you can extract through email subject, the keys is email subject. Want the who, whom the mail has been sent from you can extract through email from email to email cc as the same like in the sixth one email message is there email message is if you want to extract the full whole body of the mail you can uh, extract through email message and email receive time is received date these are the e dictionary keys available in automation anywhere and the steps we are going to see for extracting the text and show it in the message box First step, you will connect the email and then loop through each mail in the mailbox and then the string function extract the text and then we are going to show it the message box. Let's move on to the bot. Now I have created the new bot. Here, what is the first step? Email connect. So on our email package, we will be having the connect option. Make sure the session name and make sure to click the outlook. And this is my Outlook mail. I'm going to extract this link from the body of the mail and Outlook. Then the next step will be loop each mail in a mailbox. Loop. Under the loop, you will be having iterator call each mail in the mailbox. And here I'm going to click all. And this, from the specific folder, I'm going to click the inbox. And the subject contain is what I'm having here. This is the subject extract link. I'm going to paste it here. And if you want to type this specific center, you can do it. And when receive date is in or after or before anything, you can. If you want, you can put it here. And I'm going to first extract through plain text. And that I'm going to store it in a dictionary variable. Email dictionary. So if you are, if you are looping through each mail in the mailbox, it will automatically store in a variable called dictionary variable. And this is the dictionary variable I have created. And my next step is extract, extract text under the string package. Under the string package, I'm going to extract the text. I will put it in the loop. And my source string will be extract a substring between the two given strings specified before and after. My source string will be what I have created the here, the dictionary variable I have created. This is my source string. So I will press F2. Email dictionary and email key. You want to get all the body of the mail means email message. So this is a dictionary key and this is dictionary variable. So dictionary variable and this is a dictionary keys. And I will click before and after. So my before text and after text, I, I want the before and after text means first I have to know uh, I'm going to extract through plain text. So I know before and after through this one. So uh, this is the link I want to extract. And my before text will be this one. Start after the text will be this one. And end before regards. That I'm going to store it in a variable, output variable called Let me name as link extractor that I'm going to show it in a message box. What I have 
stored it here as a V link. This is the output variable. I'm going to bring bring that output variable here. Press F2 V link. That's all. I'm going to save it and run it. So it extracted the link perfectly like what we have in the body of the mail www.adbychallenge.com same like it has extracted correctly through plain text so now we can see how to extract this in a html way i will click this html here before extracting the text i will disable this we will first see that in a message box then we can extract the text so in the displaying in a message box i have to press f2 and dictionary variable key will be email message i will store this i will run the bot now It will just show you in a HTML way. Let me copy all this and put it in a notepad. Then I'm closing this message box. Then my bot run successfully. Let me see how to extract this. So this is the link we have. Okay. So now hi please extract the link and show it in the message box after the message box only the link is starting so in the html one we are having so here please extract the link and show it in a message box after this the link is starting here we want to extract only this so and the before text and after text will be these two so my before text will be let me copy this and you can put it in the extract text one and before text will be this one and end before text will be after the link it's having like four Close the bracket till this. So don't confuse this is the original link, not this one. And I'm going to put paste that after n before text will be this one. And let me show that also in a message box. Now we extracted the link. Let me put it in the link itself and my message box will be having This is enable this. Let's be try. So in HTML we also it extracted perfectly what we need only the link. After href only, the link will start in html1 and it will end it before text will be this one and after text will be this one. So it is extracted perfectly. Okay. Now my board run successfully. Okay. This is how you have to extract the link in the mail body of the mail and my next bot will be how to extract link in a mail and launch it in a browser i have extracted the link and stored it in the vlink variable and i'm going to put and launch the browser in the same vlink variable we will continue in this bot this is what the link i have extracted now i will open the browser 
my steps will be the same like email connect loop each mail in a mailbox extract the link browser open this is the steps so up to extract text will be here and i'm going to open the browser my browser will be chrome and here the link to open will be press f2 put your v link variable here save it and we can run it okay my link has been extracted now it's open in an <coughs> browser so that's all my bot ran successfully this is how you have to extract the link in the browser and you can open the browser through the same link what we have extracted earlier so if you want to note down all the dictionary keys you can note down and in the documentation of automation anywhere a2019 also it's available it's called automation anywhere dictionary variables for the email properties for the dictionary keys will be these are all the dictionary keys you can refer this documentation for further changes okay. today we learned about how to extract the link like connect email then loop through each email and i have stored that in a dictionary variable here and extracted the text through html and plain text also most probably you uh, the recommended one you have to do is html only only because if you are extracting through a plain text it will not be having added advantage you can use html1 here if you want to extract the link perfectly you can use the html1 not the plain text uh, html1 is recommended and after extracting i'm going to store it in a variable then i'm going to open that in a browser this is how you have to do it and you can subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you